being good about Godolphin is that it lets you develop what you're I'm good so at. I'm so glad I stayed and now I think I'm kind of scared about leaving as well. <laughs> I think I might miss it. I find the school is very relaxed and it runs a lot on trust rather than complete rules. Obviously every school has to have some rules but um, they're much more reasonable with their expectations of you and like once you're in sixth form they view you much more as adults and respect the responsibilities you should take on but also the freedom they should give you. The girls are no longer school children and so we treat their students but we treat them as young adults and there's much more responsibility, much more independence and yet we are still part of what is a very very um, uh, important and rather close-knit community. So they're still very much part of the school and they take a leadership role in the school. Um, and yet we're sort of semi-detached. We're literally able to sort of bridge away. The Sixth Form Centre is on the other side of the road. And psychologically and physically that makes a, a difference. I think a change in Sixth Form was that the environment is completely different. Everything is more relaxed. It's still attached to the school even though it's on the other side of the road. but. It does have a different feel to it. It's a lot more relaxed, I feel. Like, cool. you're a lot more independent. I was at Goodolphin since prep school. I love it here, so I didn't think there was any point in changing schools, and I really like the courses at A-level, and I get on with my teachers, so I thought I might as well stay. I had to stay on sixth form just because the art was really great, the sport was good. Um, I thought that it's only two years, so you don't want to disrupt your pattern of work for this short amount of time. I decided to stay for sixth form because I really enjoyed the lower school, um, especially the extracurricular activities. Um, I really got into a lot of music and sport as well. But also I thought that um, all the teachers have been so helpful throughout GCSEs and I found that a really supporting the environment to take my exam. So I thought that would be useful for a as well. Toyed with the idea of leaving, but then I thought, better stay because I realised that when I was getting really stressed about GCSEs that the teachers were really actually really helpful. I thought if that's going to happen again I want to do it with people that know me more. It's so fun. It's yeah I don't know I just I wasn't a border in lower school so I just kind of wanted to change. Like that was the way I kind of instead of moving schools I kind of started boarding to like supplement for the change and um, yeah it's been really really good like I've loved it. Um, yeah so much freedom still and it's just really good. Yeah, I like being with my friends all the time and stuff. Yeah. I, I do board um, and I really enjoy it. I really don't advise it for anyone. Obviously it's not for everyone but it makes such a difference and you make a real community and also it's quite good for like prepping you for uni if you plan to go on to uni because living in halls of residence with other people when you have to share a flat or something with them or like it really helps for like getting along with people that you don't know that the well. boarding life is fantastic because they, they um they have a great time whilst also studying. Uh, they have access to all these activities and enhancement, but the, the day girls can dip in and out of that as well. Um, and actually, as head of six or more, although I, I've got my lists, most of the time I wouldn't necessarily know who was a boarder and who wasn't because you see them around the place all the time. There's a great buzz to the six or centre, and the housemistresses have a fantastic relationship. Uh, with the girls and I think that's that's really important. The house mistresses are really good, like they don't get in your space but you know you can always go talk to them. Mm. Um, yeah, like you know they're always there but they're not always like checking up on you. And also it's been really nice to be with the year above. Yeah. Like getting cool. to know them, obviously because we kind of knew them from further down the school but you really get to know them and you spend so much time with them. It is quite a big step up but because you're doing subjects that you like and enjoy it's a lot more, it's fine. It could often we deliberately go back to study 16th and 17th century English and European history, um, focusing in the lower sixth on two great personalities, Charles I and Louis XIV. It could also be uh, focus on Eastern and Western philosophy, so uh, we study the, the big sort of Western um, uh, philosophical questions about the nature of God, um, um, uh, um, the, the role of ethics in, in modern life, um, and then from the uh, Eastern point of view we, we study uh, Buddhism to learn about uh, Eastern attitudes to the same big questions. We do a really dynamic course at A-level where you 
essentially work as an actor, as a member of a company in the first year, and then for the second year, you're very much a director. So you're there making decisions about your own productions, doing your very best to try and uh, work with actors in the lower years, trying to handle budgets for production as well. So it's quite an, uh, an exciting and uh, a motivating course. There are two English subjects at A-level actually. We have our traditional English literature, which has been around a very long time, respected and esteemed subject for all sorts of humanities courses and the Russell Group universities of course like the English literature course. English language is a much more modern subject. It's more of a social science really than a humanities based subject. It goes together very well with subjects like um, psychology, business studies and modern foreign languages. There's often a sort of fear that it will be a very difficult leap on to AS but actually um, the, the topics for AS build very much on what they've done for GCSE. To start with, I actually didn't feel it was much different from GCSE, but like as the course has gone on, you realise that there's so much more substance to the courses. Like, it's just crazy. There's so much more to learn, but it's, it's, you can do it. It's not, like, impossible. So I've found that there is a significant jump from GCSE to AS and then AS to A-level. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not overwhelming, like, you can't, and you do grow with the workload, it's not just thrown upon you. I've also found that having your <coughs> limited down to four or three subjects makes it so much easier because like, you're just managing those subjects rather than lots of subjects you are at GCSE, so it's really good because you are able to just get on with your work and get involved in it. Doing the orchestra, which I've done throughout Godolphin, and also concert band, which is a bit more fun, and Piano club, which again is really fun. Um, and also in sixth form, I think the nice thing is you're doing it in your own free time because we have our free study periods and you can use those times to rehearse. So I'm in a trio with two friends who have the same study periods as me, which means that we can arrange our rehearsals to suit when when it fits with our time to when it fits with our academic work. Do orchestra and jazz band and concert band, clarinet quartet. Fun. The school choir is really good fun. They you do a lot of concerts with other schools, which is really nice. Especially recently, we did one with Winchester College, which was um, nice to sing different repertoire of music, which involved male voices. Um, and but at vocal ensemble, we also did a concert with Canford Choir. That was different though, because it's mixed choir. Um, it was really nice seeing in different locations and we sing in competitions with vocal as well, which is also really fun. I have like a match every Saturday. And we entered loads of tournaments and we won national school lacrosse. Costa's amazing, <laughs> I'm its biggest fan. I can like every day. Um, yeah, and the new dining room is so nice as well. Really, really good food and yeah, it's a really nice atmosphere in there. So nice in the evenings just to chill out with friends. Yeah. And it, it's kind of an escape from school as well, but you don't have to go as far. <laughs> yeah, if you just want a cold drink, I like the fruity ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the majority go to university, not all. Um, some go straight into the world of work, but that's usually, I would say, one or two um, a year. Um, some go to Art Foundation. Um, as as uh, most people, I think, know, we have an extremely strong art department. Um, and in my eight years, so this is the eighth one, or as head of Sixth Form, we've got a 100% track record. Last year, of the, of the girls who applied in that cycle for UCAS, 10% got into Oxbridge. Because Oxbridge isn't, is not for everybody. Um, but what I'm particularly pleased about, we got 96% uh, got into university who'd applied. Um, every year in every school there'll be, there'll be some who, um, for whatever reason, don't and then reapply. But 96% got in, but um, just under, what was it, 88% I think it was last year, and the year before that was 86% got their first choice.